There is a mathematical connection between the Egyptian pyramids, the Parthenon in Athens, and spirals in flowers in nature. The ratio of the long side of the pyramid to its base, the ratio of the width of the Parthenon to its height, and the spirals are all connected by the golden ratio. This is denoted by the lowercase Greek letter phi, and it's equal to the square root of phi plus 1 over 2, or approximately 1.6. The golden ratio is a very famous mathematical constant. Recently, a 15-year-old at the Boston Science Museum saw the golden ratio was written as the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Believing this was an error, he told the museum about it, and the museum admitted that, oh, this negative sign should actually be a positive sign. This was picked up by the media and everyone went crazy. But what's even more interesting is that recently the museum said, no, actually we are correct. This is the golden ratio. It's a different way to write the golden ratio. So now everyone is confused about what the golden ratio is and why these two things would be equivalent. So let me try and clear up the controversy. Let's look at a rectangle which has a width of 2 and a height of 1. If I ask you what's the ratio of the two sides, there are actually two different ways you could tell me what the ratio is. If you told me the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side, you would tell me the ratio of the sides is 2. But you could also tell me the ratio of the shorter side to the longer side, in which case you would say the ratio is 1 half or 0.5. Now consider a golden rectangle where one side is the golden ratio and the other side is 1. If you told me the longer side to the shorter side, you would have the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 is the ratio of the sides, or approximately 1.618. But you could also tell me the ratio of the shorter side to the longer side, which is the reciprocal. This is sometimes denoted by the capital letter phi, and that's equal to 0.618. So there are two different ways that you could express the ratio of the sides, and that's why both of these are correct ways of expressing the golden ratio. So just to give one technical aside, I said these two are reciprocals of each other. They do not look like reciprocals. So let's verify this mathematically. If you multiply the two numbers together and simplify, you'll find out they're equal to 1. Two numbers that multiply together to equal 1 are reciprocals. Another way you could verify this is by taking the reciprocal of phi. You then need to rationalize the denominator. And then if you do a little bit of algebra, you'll find out you'll get to the capital Greek letter phi, which is the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. So what all of this means is that the golden ratio is typically written as the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, which is the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side. This is approximately 1.618. But you could equivalently look at the golden ratio as the capital Greek letter phi as the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. And this is the ratio of the shorter side to the longer side. And that's approximately 0.618. So both ways are correct ways of expressing the golden ratio. And that's because you can express ratios either as the longer side to the shorter side or is the shorter side to the longer side. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can also catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There's a link in the video description.